Hi guys, it's me, Jeannie, the Witch of Boise, and I'm here to do your monthly tarot forecast for the collective for September 2023. Woo! So exciting! So before we begin, make sure you do like this video, hit subscribe, comment below, tell me if there's a specific date you're looking for this month, or if it resonates, I want to hear it in the comments. Um, just a really quick uh, overview is that these videos are how I get my card of the day that's featured every single day on Instagram and Facebook. Sometimes it's on TikTok, sometimes it's not, so it's hit and miss. I don't get a lot of um, views on TikTok, so that's kind of why it's like, ugh, it's another step. <laughs> but it's all right, no worries. But anyways, this is for the collective, so just keep that in mind. Also, um, I have the year card and the month card. Those can be found um, for the collective in my YouTube channel under the yearly tarot forecast for the collective. And for 2023, as we all know, is the lovers. As we all know, meaning if you follow me. <laughs> is the lovers. The lovers is such a really, it's a beautiful partnership uh, energy. So this can be going into partnership, but this is also a choice and decision that's being made and being given to you. So it's showing the free will to take it or to leave it or what you want to do with it. It's a really, really beautiful energy that's happening through 2023 for the collective. Now in September, there is a, oh my gosh, I, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> in September, there is um, the card, the Hierophant. Ooh, so what that means, and you can judge me how I pronounce it. It's the Hierophant. That's how I pronounce it. Um, but this is a this is a lesson card. It's really kind of interesting because the lovers in Zodiac is a Gemini and then we have the hair font, which is Taurus. So it's kind of like a springtime thing. So kind of keep that in mind as well, where there might be something that is a springtime energy that's happening. So that can be new beginnings, things like that. But um, with the hair font, as it in its um, solidarity is about traditions, is about, oh, hold on. <laughs> I have poor baby Zero. He's not really a baby anymore. He's massive, um, but he is being a terror right now. He does not want me to film and he just wants my attention 100%. So you might hear him in the background or see him and yeah, so anyways, but the Hierophant is about traditions. It's about lessons being learned, but these are lessons that are not going to be given to you. These are lessons where you have to figure them out yourself. So you will have the tools and the key in order to get to that lesson, but you have to learn it yourself. And so it is that kind of like traditional um, aspect as well. Now, really quick before we get in, I'm blabbing too long. Um, the lovers with the hair font too, this can be also a signifying um, aspect of getting married or a union, um, something that's traditional with partnership. So this isn't something where you would think um, that is non-traditional or whatnot. This is something very traditional with partnership and that kind of thing. So that can apply to some of the collective as well. All right, so let me hide this toy. <laughs> so um, we're going to get started and I am using the Witch's Tarot today. So uh, in September of 2023, we have one, two, three, four, five, five weeks. Now, if you see me looking down, I just want to show you, it's my little calendar I made. So um, just in case you're like, where is she looking? <laughs> it's just that. So I don't get confused. So I'm just going to shuffle this up. I also want to kind of break it up so it's not like all upright, all reverse, all that fun stuff. So we are just going to like this. All right. Yeah, 
Okay, I just cut the deck in random and then going just shuffling. I'm kind of getting some flyers, but I think it's because my energy is really high today. And yeah, it just wants to talk to me. Okay. So for our first week, let's cut this. Let's cut. Actually, I'm going to put two cards from the top. So this is going to be September 1st and September 2nd. And then I'm going to cut this deck into four. One, two, three, and then four. Okay. So let's get started, shall we? So Friday, September 1st is the Empress. Really beautiful energy. And that's our first major arcana. This is also a really big month because we have the 2023 is a major arcana. September is a major arcana. And then we're starting strong with Friday as a major arcana as the Empress. So the Empress is about, um, it can be about feminine power, but this is also about giving birth to new ideas and nurturing yourself and nurturing these ideas or goals. Um, we want to kind of think of it as like a pregnant woman in an analogy, but it's, it's giving birth to idea. It's fertility. No, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> That's a dog trying to get his toys back. No, now go on. Um, so the empress is about fertility. So things are going to be, um, coming to life and it, and it really kind of resonates too, because the Empress is like springtime. So it kind of reminds me of like the rebirth of everything, the bunnies, the eggs, all of that. And that's where I was saying with the, the, um, lovers and the Hierophant, which is kind of like the end of spring too. It's like springtime. So really kind of cool how that works, but this is just a really good time to kind of be creative and, and start up things. I have to make sure that I'm not gabbing for too long. So I'm going to try to bust these out. Let's go. So on Saturday, September 2nd, 2023, we have the fool and the fool is in reverse. So there is a beginning that it might be happening and it's just not happening quite yet. There are still some things that you are needing to wrap up. Um, there, it's not the beginning. So it's also understanding that you need to not forget your responsibilities as well. So you might even be seeing, even being worn down from what kind of cycle you were on if you're on this new beginning and carrying that ick to this new beginning. So just kind of just keep that in mind. Now, before I get too far into it, make sure that you are following me on Instagram and Facebook. It's Witch of Boise, all one word. Or, and if you want to book a reading with me, my bookings are kind of limited right now. There's a reason why, and I'll get to it later, but, um, check out my website, witchofboise.com to book with me for a private reading. Okay. Let's go to the second week. I'm just gonna go like that. I swear zero. <laughs> It's like, let's make as much noise as possible. Okay, so we have Sunday, September 3rd, and that is the Seven of Swords. So this is something where you want to make sure that you have healthy boundaries that are up and that are kind of like, you're going to have someone pressing them. So you just want to make sure that you have those in place, that you are being cautious about who is coming around and what their intentions are. This is kind of sneaky energy where it's almost like a thief where it's not stealing at all, but it's stealing most of it. So it's just kind of keep that in, in the back of your mind when dealing with other people, especially like even strangers or, um, people from the past that you haven't been around. Like what is, what's your intention? Then we have Monday, uh, September 4th. And this is the nine of swords. This is dramatic. This is, um, anxiety, depression, 
but it's also understanding that things aren't as bad as you are making them out to be. This is a lot of it's in your head. It's not saying that it's not that, but it's just realizing you need to kind of take a step back and look at it in a fresh set of eyes instead of being in a spiral. Because once you're in the spiral, you're like, this is the worst thing ever. And then you actually look at it and you're like, okay, it's not that bad. It might be kind of bad, but not that bad. So it's just putting things into perspective. All right, then Tuesday, September 5th, we have the Emperor in reverse. So this is a card about not feeling elite, like feeling like a leader in your life. Now, it doesn't mean that um, like at work or anything like that, it's meaning taking charge of your life. So there's something where there's a blockage there. So you need to really own up to any mistakes, anything like that, and really stand up and be the leader that you want to be in your life. Then we have Wednesday, September 6th. That's going to be the page of Pentacles in reverse. So this is um, a chaotic plan. So there might be a plan that's in place. This can be for career, earthly matters, things like that. And it's not being really prepared in a thoughtful action. It's just kind of like chaos. So you need to really examine that to see if that's really what you want to do. But it just seems like whatever you're trying to build, you're not going to get to that point because you're not being methodical. Then we have Thursday, September 7th. It's going to be the Nine of Cups. This is a really good card. This is about manifestations, wishes coming true. So things are going to start to feel like they're coming together. So um, really enjoy that and keep your vibrational energy up. Then we have Friday, September 8th, and that's going to be death. So this is our first main, oh no, we had that emperor in the reverse. But, um, so for Friday the 8th, death, this is an ending. This is a, it's done and over with. It's closed that door and it's not going to open again. So you're going to be feeling a lot of transformative energies because with endings come new beginnings. So um, you're going to feel that finality happen. Then we have Saturday, um, September 9th. It's the high priestess. So this is trusting your intuition. This is also receiving messages from the other side. And when I say the other side, it's like the spiritual world. Um, you're going to be really in touch with that. So there might be some things where it feels like magic is happening. It definitely is because you're in touch with your spiritual or even higher self in that sense. So, um, yeah, just really trust your intuition. Trust what your gut's telling you during this time. Then we have uh, Sunday, September 10th. That's going to be, this is the wheel of the year for this deck, but it's the wheel of fortune in traditional decks. So this is fame destiny at play. So this is like, do not change. Don't try to alter what is happening. Let things unfold the way that they are going to be. And that is good and bad. There's a reason why it's happening. And it's going to move you to another path or move you to a path that you want. And it might not even seem like you're going the same direction, but it's actually headed your, in your favor. So don't, don't try to change it. <laughs> don't try to be in control of it. All right. Then we have uh, Monday, September 11th, and that is justice in reverse. So justice in reverse tells us that the scales of justice are in an imbalance right now. So we want to make sure that we are um, understanding that we're going to be feeling a sense of injustice. However, the scales are going to balance themselves out eventually. So you have to have almost faith or trust or hope that it will because it will eventually you're just going to get that taste of like that really imbalanced thing. This is also something that um, someone might not be truthful to you. They might not be telling you the, the whole truth of the matter. All right, then we have Tuesday, September 12th, and that's going to be the Three of Swords. So that might be a catalyst of what's happening on Monday. The Three of Swords is about, it's about heartache and and heartbreak and betrayal and but the thing is is it's also about breaking through a moment so it's breaking through the pain and realizing like 
that you don't need that anymore. And it might not be right away, but it's going to be a reflection of like this, this heartache wasn't in vain. There was a reason for it and it wasn't meant for you. So it's just moving forward. Then we have Wednesday, September 13th, and it's the lovers in reverse. Very interesting. So the lovers in reverse tells us that there is, um, you might be thinking things are coming like this, this decision or choice is coming from above and it's like the planets are aligned and everything and it's not. So this can be a test. This can be something that is like that, but you want to make sure that you are balanced, that you are not getting caught up in a fantasy. Um, this is also for some, and this, I mean, it's kind of going hand in hand with the last three cards. This can be like a sign of a breakup too. Um, it's not for everyone, not for everyone, but it's definitely like a decision that is being blocked or it could be even a choice that you're trying to make a choice that you feel like destiny is and the universe is like, yeah, guess what? No. <laughs> and you're like, what the heck? So it's that kind of energy and blockage. All right, then we have Thursday, September 14th. That's the Four of Pentacles. So the Four of Pentacles is about holding on. It can be being frugal, um, watching your money, but it's also holding on to emotional past. So you want to make sure that you are letting go of what has happened and you are not holding on to grudges, holding on to past emotional baggages. Um, sorry, my dog is <laughs> being ridiculous right now. Um, but it's just letting that go and stop and stop holding on to it so much. Then we have Friday, uh, September 15th, which is also a new moon in Virgo and it's the five of swords. So the five of swords tells us that there is something where it feels like you have lost, that you are not winning. Um, but in the grand scheme of things, you will. So it is a victory, but it doesn't feel like one. And as time progresses and as you kind of sit with your feelings and the reality of the situation, you're going to start to see that, yes, it in fact was a victory, but it's just not going to feel like a victory right away. Then we have Saturday, September 16th, and that's going to be the page of cups in reverse. So the page of cups in reverse tells us that this is a message that you are waiting for. So this is an emotional message. Hold on one second. Okay, I just had to scold the dog. Um, but the page of cups is about wait, it's about wanting to receive a message, an emotion, emotional message, something from the heart, and you're not gonna get it. So if you're looking for that message, you have to be the one to initiate it, but you have to be aware that it might not be the answer or what you are looking for that you're gonna get out of it. So just keep that in mind too. If you're, if you feel like, you know what, I am going to reach out and whatnot, and it's just not going to be the answer that you're looking for. All right. So let's go on to the fourth week and that would be Sunday, September 17th, 2023. We have the King of Cups, very emotional time. There's some emotions happening. Um, it might feel a little stormy. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, is that if you have emotional intelligence, um, you'll be able to go through the motions of it. And I mean, if you don't know what emotional intelligence is, you should probably look it up. And it's really kind of a time, a good time to reflect within yourself. It's feeling all the emotions, but also taking accountability of your own uh, storm, I guess. Um, if you're feeling a certain type of way, it's just really kind of reflecting on those feelings, but not letting them take, like carry you away with it. It's having the emotional intelligence of also accountability as well. Then we have a uh, Monday, September 18th. And that's the moon. So the moon is a very mysterious uh, energy. This is about illusions, shape-shifting energy. Every time I get it in tarot, it's pretty much a big middle finger to um, 
the reader. <laughs> Just saying, you gotta wait to find out because guess what? It's not what you're going to expect or I don't want to give you any details. You just got to experience it. Okay, then we have Tuesday, September 19th. That's going to be the Ace of Cups. Hmm. So we are throwing our love away today on that day and that is so sad. So we want to make sure that we are filling our cup up, not just being pessimistic and throwing that love away. It's it's really kind of a reflection of yourself and 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 how you want um to express your love so then we have wednesday september 20th and that is the knight of swords but that's in the reverse so there's a lot of thought and um that's going into something as well as maybe there you're looking for a quick resolution or a quick message and it's not going to be that like that going to be the absolute opposite so you it's going to feel like you're you're doing stuff in slow motion and you're wanting to get stuff done you want to get that going and all that stuff and it's not going to happen it's going to be that slow slow motion then we have thursday september 21st and that's the eight of wands so there's going to be fast movement then coming in but it's going to come out of left field. This is like a news bulletin energy. So there's going to be something coming in left field announcement, something that's going to catch you a little bit off guard. So just be prepared of it. And it's going to be a really weird energy because you're going to feel very sluggish and like, I can't get going. And then all of a sudden something's going to slap you up <laughs> aside the head. All right. Then we have Friday, September 22nd. It's the two of pentacles. <coughs> Two Pentacles is about multitasking and juggling and, and um, it's also about prioritizing. It's making sure that you are looking at um, what you are dealing with and prioritizing if you really even need to do certain things as well. So it's a good time to kind of reassess yourself. Now, if you hear a weird noise in the background, um, Mr. Zero has gotten his chew. So that's what that is. All right, then we have Saturday, September 23rd, and this is karma in the reverse. And in traditional tarot, it is judgment. So there feels like there's going to be something where you feel like it's almost like the justice in reverse card, where you feel like justice is not being served, that karma has not fulfilled its <laughs> promise to you and things are like not kind of aligning the way that you uh want them to be as well as um because it, when it's in the upright um judgments about like rebirth it's about like the the phoenix rising from the ashes it's really beautiful energy but with this being in the reverse it's kind of like wah wah and it might just be something that just ends and is not even going to resurrect itself so it's kind of like a dud energy where you're feeling like maybe this is gonna do and it kind of feels like especially the last two weeks so this the second week and the third week it kind of feels like that where there's a little bit of gunkiness that's happening and you're looking for this like thing that's gonna get you out of it and it's like nope guess what done all right then we have sunday september 24th and that's the ten of cups in reverse so for some of you, you're going to look at um, your life or aspects of your life and you're going to realize what the reality is. So you've been living in a little bit of a delusion or you've been saying everything's perfect. Like there's going to be some people that are like, my partner is the perfect person and blah, blah, blah. And then it's like getting out of that delusion and being like, whoa, like not perfect. This is not good eject like it's that kind of energy that's happening and it's like the the illusion is down and you're gonna see it for what it is then we have monday the 25th of september and that's gonna be the seven of cups there's gonna be a lot of choices a lot of options that are gonna be coming towards you so you want to make sure that you you investigate and look at each individual offer before you take anything because some things are gonna happen and it's gonna be too good to be true. So you just want to really be looking at that and making sure that it is 
what it is and you never know what's going to be the next deal then we have the queen of swords and that's going to be uh, tuesday the 26th of september and this is a boss babe energy but this is about being alone this can be also uh newly divorced or just divorced um but it's kind of a cold energy she's a little bit bitchy and a little bit like pointed so you just really want to watch your tone, um, especially if you're doing something where you are trying to be um, in charge of whatever it is. It can be any aspect in your life. You just really want to watch your tone during this time because it's really kind of cold and, and pointed. It's not good. Um, Wednesday, September 27th, we have the Ten of Wands and that is about burden. It is feeling like you are the only one doing anything and no one's helping you and but you're not asking for help and so you're just climbing up a hill with a bunch of sticks that are heavy and you're just muttering to yourself and <laughs> but you're not making the effort of asking for help. So this is a great time to ask for help when you need it. You're going to be feeling the burden if you don't. All right, then we have September 28th, which is on a Thursday. We have the Six of Swords. So we are starting to kind of balance our thoughts and get to a more tranquil um, spot. We're moving away from tranquil waters, which is a really welcoming sign, especially for this the majority of September it's just kind of getting out of that gunk and and just getting out of that illusion of ick and moving towards a more peaceful and tranquil tran tranquil mindset then we have Friday uh September 29th which is also full moon in Aries and it's the queen of cups but in the reverse so we are very emotional <laughs> On this full moon in Harry's, we are very emotional. And um, yeah, it's not great. So you just want to make sure that you're not getting caught up into your emotions and letting them out of control. And it will start messing with like what you feel is your intuition, but it's really not. It's just your emotions really kind of taking over. So you just really need to be aware of that on the 29th. Then we have Saturday the 30th, the last day of September, and it is the Hermit, but it's in the reverse. So you've been doing some soul searching, things like that, and it's time to merge. It's time to um, implement all of the things that you've learned in your hermiting and go out. Be free! <laughs> you can still explore and do more spiritual journeys, but right now it's kind of like put a pin in it and go, emerge. Be a little bit more social, um, especially for us introverts. Be a little bit more social than you normally would. All right, guys, that is it for September. Again, go to uh, my Instagram, which of Boise. That is the most active social media I'm on. Um, if you want to book a reading, go check out my website, which I am on Facebook. I'm on TikTok. I'm on Snapchat. I don't do Snapchat that much. But you can add me there. It's Witch of Boise, all one word. Go check me out. And hey, thanks so much for hanging out with me and, you know, letting me yell at my dog <laughs> this entire time. Um, I appreciate all of your support. And um, I am going to be doing an update here very shortly. And um, just thank you just for being you and supporting me in this little hobby business of which of Boise. I love it. Um, yeah, it's just so much fun. So I appreciate your support and I will hang out with you and talk to you later. Okay. Bye. Zero. Do you want to come say bye? Come here. Come here. Come here. Hurry. We're running out of time. <laughs> say bye. <laughs>